No banks, no fees, no inflation. Um, people are calling Bitcoin a bubble that's bursting. So blockchain technology is not just money. It's a whole new infrastructure. We've discovered basically the future of the internet. It's really uniting people from around the world. Cryptocurrency is in its infancy. And anyone who gets involved in this industry is like getting involved in the internet in the early 90s. I actually want other people to show up and start doing the same thing because this has to be an internet-wide revolution, not just a single site. We need everybody to have the power to do this. Steemit is an app that's built off of the Steam blockchain. Steam is the, the currency that Steemit uses to reward different content producers, bloggers. Steam has a, what's called the daily rewards pool. It generates a, a certain thousands of tokens every day that are kind of sitting, imagine it's sitting above the website Steemit. And what people do when they vote and like content on Steemit, they're directing a portion of that rewards pool two different people that are publishing content of that day. What's innovative about that is no one is, is giving their own money towards this. They're simply directing where that value should be distributed in any given day. With all of this, all of this hype, all of this excitement around Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, all this blockchain technology, there had yet still not been a physical manifestation of what this meant for the real world. And so we as architects and designers thought, well, the best way to show it to the average person, uh, the average person on the street, the average person who had never heard about Bitcoin, was to make something with it. If it was actual currency, well, then we should be able to fund a physical project. So from about late April, we launched this project throughout May and June. We fundraised just through sharing content, sharing our ideas, engaging with the community. And over the course of two months, we had raised enough to do an actual physical project. Without a single cent of personal money, we hadn't asked for any kind of grant or private donation. We didn't get any government money, no corporate money. We made essentially the first ever public interest project funded 100% by public interest, not a dime of private US dollars. But the project of Steam Park and to get the fully thing executed, we had to put together a team of capable members who would make this happen. There was Kirk and I, the design partners, who had helped raise money on Steemit through content. There was Wayne Devonish, the conservancy founder of Her Monking Park, who had graciously let us come into the park and do our project. There was Ryu Kim, the development associate of the conservancy, and she acted as a liaison between our team and Wayne at the conservancy. And so it was a multifaceted effort of people ingrained within Steemit and the community there, but also on the ground in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn, New York, where we work closely with the people who are living in the community, people who volunteered for the community, and all the local members here who had a personal stake. Herbert Von King Park is an incredible park that has a, a storied legacy and storied history. And we saw an incredible opportunity to use Steemit to tell that story and share that story with a community that doesn't know all of the different pieces of that puzzle. And it's very rare for a community and neighborhood to have a park with the legacy that this one does. But it hasn't had that same sort of funding that other parks like Prospect Park and Central Park has obviously had. Very quickly, a park like this can sometimes get lost in terms of not getting the right resources that it truly deserves. So we saw an opportunity with Steemit to tell the story of this neighborhood resource and create a kind of grassroots effort that would really seek to empower the park and the story of the people surrounding it. This is something that a government institution would never be able to do. It's a, we saw a void there where we could come in and basically give funding where funding no, didn't previously exist. And that's what's so important about Steemit because you can use the narrative of a place to create value. And that value can be used as a toolkit to do very real things. Park furniture, planters, benches, the things that we brought to Herbert von King Park.
My name is Brian Chu, co-founder of A5 Studio. We're working on a project with, with a company founded by my friend Michael Lee. So he is working on a project for a park out in Brooklyn where it is funded by cryptocurrency. My name is Connor Coughlin, I'm co-founder of A5 Studio. So what's interesting about the steam of cryptocurrency is that projects attempting to be funded can be funded on their own merit. So there's really no nepotism involved um, and that's quite exciting. So people can put themselves out there and essentially the best projects will, will get the most funding. Now uh, we're finishing up welding all the steel frames um, and tomorrow we're going to have the, uh, the wood CNC cut for the triangles in the center of them. Uh, and we're hoping to have everything ready, ready to go for uh, Sunday morning at 11 when the, the launch of Steamit Park is, is happening. and we should have a great turnout today. The, co the community of Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn excited for new things to happen in a park that they really haven't seen too much change happen in the past years, couple decades even. It's a lot even, of vibrancy. Really yeah, familiar. it's a lot of vibrancy. New flowers that we had in a couple days ago, a uh, new garden, new sculpture from Musa Hickson, and we're excited to be part of this whole movement to rejuvenate the park, to redevelop it, and hopefully be the beginning of a whole stream of new programming, workshops, yeah. community assets, resource development, uh, public education. Throughout the entire summer and hopefully till the next year too. Right. It's just a big start for this great journey. I'm really excited. So, so I definitely want to thank Kurt, I want to thank Mike, I really want to thank Ruth. She is, uh, I'm, I'm sure she didn't put all these, these, these planters together, but she really did uh, mentally have this vision and uh, I just really thank her for connecting with the Vaughn King Park Conservancy, for joining the, uh, the committee. And yeah, let's give Rue a round of applause. Woo! Let's give Rue a round of applause. That, that made this, this whole day come together, so I want to thank her. But I also want to say on behalf of the Vaughn King Park Conservancy, thank you to Steemet. Thank you, sir. Um, thank you all for coming out and for um, partaking in this major step to advance this park into the 21st century. Meeting Michael, um, I actually met him through his wife, who actually first kind of connected um, with the Conservancy as a uh, wanting to join uh, the volunteer committee. And, um, you know, me and uh, his wife just kind of interacting. She brought Michael in, and we've just kind of been really hitting Hit, it, hit the ground running in terms of making things happen. Uh, Mike and his team uh, brought in, you know, some great ideas. They fabricated some furniture to bring into the park. Um, they were able to commandeer additional plants and flowers uh, in collaboration with his wife. So we kind of really just kind of took it to a much higher level than expected in such a short time because I don't even think it's been six months that we've connected but you know it's already been a very transformative experience.